time. Take your time. <laughs> Box cover, this is Dutty Bear and welcome to another top 10 social media countdown. My birthday was last week, Thursday, and trust me, I had a great day. I enjoyed it. Thank you for all of the birthday wishes, burritos. I really felt the love um, on the streets and I, I really did have a good day and I will tell you more in detail in the middle of the countdown, but let's get into this week's top 10. <laughs> <laughs> the dusty yeah, the berry yeah, the juicy yeah, the scoop. All the things are going on, they missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie said the corner coming soon. All the drama where you want, you for tuning to the youth. Like yo, hey, box cover, and cover all the topics like a evening. Pot cover, mix up, blender, all them soft me, I will have me another week, yo, just tune in, zin. Number 10, City Girls in JA. Okay, so Burritos, so just in case you're, you're seeing this shirt, this was one of the gifts from the Burritos. Can you know me this time they want some merch for my birthday? And so this is courtesy of Irie Icon. They're a t-shirt company and people go and go check them out right here. So And I'll be showing some of the other um, you know, shirts that I got for my birthday. So big up yourself, Irie Icon, and go and support them Burritos. Mm -hmm. Number 10, City Girls in JA. Me, hip hop. <laughs> Okay, so uh, JT and Young Miami, they're the, the, the rap duo, American rap duo, City Girls. They visited Jamaica recently for the Mocha Fest. If you don't know what Mocha Fest is, it is basically like a spring break in a Jamaica. So black Americans, them travel to Jamaica for just party and turn up. And the City Girls were slated to be one of the headlining acts and they gave their performance. <laughs> The ladies want to get laid. Got a nigga, big thirty bags, whole five, six niggas. Strikes on my head, so he's trying to put ten up in on the seven ass bitches. Y'all put your phones up. It's a city girl, son. Y'all put your phones up. It's a city girl, you ready? Let's do it. No, in the middle of that, no, before they, they headed to Mocha Fest to perform, it seems as if um, young Miami, she was enjoying the festivities in Jamaica so much that she had to go and secure some Jamaican food. Put it, put it here. Put it here. But in the middle of that, she had to shade um, JT because JT apparently came to Jamaica and was trying to get Popeyes. See the tweet here. <laughs> But a part of the visit that took the cake was when uh, Young Miami, she was clubbing and she decided to just properly broke it down. You know what, round of applause, round of applause for them type of twerking here. Yeah, you have the percolator and you are using it. So, burritos, let me know what do you think of uh, JT and Young, um, Young Miami's trip to Jamaica. If you were at Mocha Fest, what do you think of their performance? Sound off below. Number nine, Shakari versus Ilian. Maria Saf. Okay, so um, recently I've been talking a lot about Shakari on the social media countdown, and every time I talk about her, I'm going to put her up on number nine. <laughs> But anyway, so the other day, Mrs. Shakari put out this, this tweet that is saying, um, asking the question, which Jamaican YouTuber should she, she sue? And many of the burritos have been tagging me and sending me the, 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 the screenshot of it. Like, what do you think? What do you think me and Shakari have? Me and Shakari now have nothing. I have been so nice to the girl. The only thing I said to her is that I only hope that she can run her foot them as much as she has been running her mouth lately and it looks as if shakari took me advice and decided to actually show that she is not just a social media influencer but she is actually somebody who wants to compete in this sport called track and field and so recently when there was the showdown at the nike um the nike event you know she was there running against elaine thompson and all of the other incredible ladies elaine thompson run. Oh wow, okay, yeah, maybe definitely know that Ilian Thompson did a win, but the fact that Shakari, she, 
The second place, even though I really think that's second place because they look, they look interesting. I feel like Sh- Sh- Sharika, I feel like she did get second, but like, you know, they're just kind of, you know, they look American thing. Go. But here is what I will say to Sh- Sharika Jackson. Sharika, come here, come here, come here, goody, come here, come here. Start for study VCB. Study Veronica Campbell Brown. But come here, I tell you, sometimes Veronica in the sixth place. But you see, when it reached fin- finish line, Veronica duck and come second. May I tell you, Veronica now come out of the finals without a medal. So you have to go study her. I don't know if you have to go around a little bit with a little knock foot so it can give you a little, a little bedding over type of exaggeration in your farm. But you have to go work on that, man. You have to lock your eye and run and know when when, when the finish line start with. Like, I see it, you know, but you need to work on that because like our soup, soup pressure time, look like such a car and money start to run out now. So she actually have to go show what she work for. Me need, yeah, we need, we need for a work on the finish line. There's like a line duck in there because, yeah, a, a battle royale time now. <laughs> Very good. So, congratulations to Elaine Thompson, all the Jamaican ladies that represented. And I'd love to hear from you. What do you feel? Were you surprised that Shakari um, placed second? Sound off below. Number eight, Sean Paul dance class. My temperature. Okay, so one of my favorite uh, dancehall artists, Sean Paul, recently appeared on a television program. And I guess because he wasn't there with any other dancer, he had to be the sole Jamaican um, artistic director and lecturer of movement. And he took on that badge with honor. <laughs> One thing you know, Sean Paul is going Elan Tour because if a one dance Sean Paul master is that Elan Tour, like, yeah, he's a Elan Tour extraordinary. Run for blast for Sean Paul, Elan Tour. Cover <laughs> <laughs> readers, let me know in the comments, like, um, are you able to do all of these moves? Sound up below. Number seven, lyrical? No. Okay, Berridos, take a look at this um, young lady who was at a party and she was getting off in at this song in a man, man. She had get off in at this king song. But at some point in time, I think the words just slipped her brain, but she never did make that stop her. She persevered. Take a look. Something all right, yeah. <laughs> Yo, big up the girl here, yeah. like no shame in your game. I don't wrong you. Yeah. Sometimes you only one part of the song you know, and for the part where you don't know, you just have to just freestyle and make your mouth just do whatever it wants to do. Once again, that kind of song. You see, me hear popcorn and everything, they're like Jesus Christ. Like me, I hear patio, thew, 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 thew. Me can't even remember. What the, what the hell does he say? No, 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 um, have you ever had a moment like this while singing? Sound off in the comments. Number six, Boya interview. All right, burritos. So uh, Kareem Boya thinks the, 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 the very popular Twitter personality and podcaster recently sat down with Shakari's ex, Jenny. And people, I was very happy that, you know, she, she seemed a lot more toned down now and relaxed. And Kareem actually got her to, 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 to give some more detail into the relationship that she had with the controversial sprinter, uh, Shakari. Really slow. Um, now, was Shakari your first girlfriend? Like your first official girlfriend? She was the first, yes, to, like, to, like, to make me be like, yo, and I no more, I'm a can butter. Yeah. Like, All right. Um, how did you yeah. meet Shakiri? How did you guys oh. meet each other? Oh, we was at um, we had an award together, an award ceremony. Did people in the track and field world knew that you guys were in a relationship in the initial stages when you guys just met each other? When we just met, well, I really when we just met it was like the pandemic and such, so people wasn't really out. But like mm-hmm. after that, when you get free up, yeah, every most people knew, everybody knew because them chat a lot. Um, you know what? Based on how oh, Shakari look like she already forgot two people, uh, Kareem, make sure she stayed prayed up because the girl comes second, so it look like she get a little bit more money in her bank account now, so she have the, 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 the disposable income where can, you know, kind of use for Sue, who she want for Sue, so just kind of careful. We're going to keep Kareem prayed up because I feel like this is not the end for more interviews related to Shakari. <laughs> Number five, Strictly 2K. Okay, Marita, so you know, say a part of the birthday celebrations, like I continued on and I, I decided to go to Strictly 2K 
and people when me tell you like I, I i enjoyed myself all right so hey guys okay so i'm using my channel k voice because i'm doing a recap vlog video of strictly 2k i went last night people i'm not like me the product that look look when i put together me they look decent and you know what make it confirm when happy feet tell me say me they look good so i just say boy me they look good and i feel good so best believe that you will be seeing back this outfit because so i bought the place most of people are dogger and i was just like hey i need to go and drink so i can get like a liquid courage so then after that was going on now all of a sudden me a girl you know me just see people are dancing i decided to say I want to become a dancer. People must start off skanking. After the skanking, all of a sudden must start for the hardy X. Then at some point I was there room ramming. Then Jesus beam. I don't know which dance me never do. My all crazy hype. No, look at the mess that I was going on with. My God, it's 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 amazing. Then at one of the time, then when I was dancing, you know, that girl in segment, so I find a girl. I'm like, you know, my dad do my little thing, and I did a go a little bit too hard. I end up go cut, go rip my pants scratches, and me don't know why. Me didn't feel like me I'm having the beast. I want to go do like excitement, but after that, I had to be walking around the the, the party with breeze. I go through my scratches. We top that off, you know, Elephant Man was there. And for top that off, Elephant Man was there and him did perform with Kivan, a host of so many other dancers such as John Hype, Shelly Belly, Mad Michelle, um, Kola Kola. It, it was just a really great energetic performance from the energy god Elephant Man. Yeah, man, so that was my strictly 2K. Burritos, let me know. Do you think that Trapper music is actually ruining the partying experience in dancehall? Sound off below. Number four, Vroom Bikers. Me motor speed. Okay, so I don't know if this is a trend, but recently I saw a video on Twitter where this um, bike, bike man entered a fast food establishment while on the bike. And this 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 cannot make no sense like this can't right this this has to be people that take certain things and it just kind of send them editing our frenzy this i can't real life this maybe it's a prank is it a prank for like a youtube channel so just when i thought that maybe this was just a one-off occurrence this seems to be a trend because another video appeared with another person doing the exact same thing <laughs> No man, this is unbelievable. I can't real life. This cannot be real life. This has to be where people are doing stunts for likes, shares, and comments. <laughs> I'm, 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 actually, I'm actually I try to pick up for them in you know, like a part of me would have want for be them lie and say maybe they thought that it was the drive through so they decided to just but eh -eh, this is just total madness total chaos like kids don't try this at home <laughs> Number three, girl and girl. Okay, so um, I saw this video now on Twitter because it got viral on Twitter with over 45,000 likes pretty much overnight. And th in this video, you had two young ladies that were dancing on each other. But trust me, their movements here, their movements here, their waistline action here did very different. It did very special. Like, no, man. I don't know how much milk I can show you because you know how YouTube stay about um take a little preps. <laughs> oh wow. Um yeah. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, the girl who was round the back, like, was doing the holding. Yeah, man, like, she's done this before. This is not fair, first rodeo. The girl here move like. Yeah, man. Mm hmm. I mean, woman can't get other woman pregnant, so, but, like, if any girl forget one girl pregnant, other girl, eh, because, yeah, man, something. Mm -mm, eh, eh. So, apparently, she is not from Jamaica. She's actually from Barbados. And um, she has been on Twitter basically defending herself and saying that this is just how Caribbean people dance and it's a part of the culture and not something to be sexualized like seriously. And so, um, big up yourself in a girl and um, all the best in your future daggering endeavors. Right about now, it's time for the big up segment. Well done. Before the girls them sexy and long. Run song. Sing along. Well then. Big up paper now. All right, so first up, I have to go and big up Terry Carell on the launch of her book, My Brand Compass. Yeah, man, it's officially launched now, and I'm just so happy for Terry Carell. Like, her being an author is just so on brand. Like, it just seems like a no-brainer. I mean, no, sometime ago, there's a whole controversy with the name. But Terry just say, yo, let me just reel it in. And just, like, do a little tweaking and come back. Tada, brand new. You never hear nothing. Yeah, I am here. So, big up yourself, Terry, Terry Carell. And I definitely will be checking out this particular book. Also, congratulations are in order for international dancehall superstar Shaggy on his recent doctorate from one of the top Ivy League schools in America. Accomplishments as a recording artist and your service to others, we honor you with the degree of Doctor of Fine Arts. By the authority vested in me, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Fine Arts and all rights and privileges pertaining to this degree I give to you. And in witness of this, I collegially give you this diploma. Uh, Yeah man, so Shaggy is officially getting his degree in fine arts from the Browns University in the United States of America. This is an extraordinary look. Big up yourself, Shaggy. Jesus Christ. What has this man not acquired? Hey guys, you boys chilling and having a vibe with my family and playing some loads. You see there, guys? You know, guys, I'm like that song here. We're just going to go back in the 90s. You know them where they? Yeah. Ice cream is killing character. 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 Love you guys. Peace. Love and share. Number two, dancehall happenings. Okay, Marita, so I have two videos we talk about today because dancehall is always festive, always reinventing and just doing something different. And so, when you hear about the whole ensure thing where I go on where girls have ensure back in their mouth and all kind of things, but it seems as if they're up in the ante right now and they've reached like, I don't know, the godfather, the grandmother, the uncle, the grandmother, like something else, but we're past ante right now. And so, what is happening is, is, is where like, now people are taking leg of the bird, Literally, take a look. dancehall 2022 i mean hey hey it's a moment you know it is a moment and that is what dancehall is so like i guess this woman of the of the bird in another cube and she decided to just have this moment but you can imagine you should have got a dance and the selector never played the song yeah <laughs> now how should have vex a fair walk back at the yard and all of the fall them all of the bird them jesus beam anyway um so that is that but other things are happening where people are now deciding to, you know, do a little bit of meal prep in the dance hall spaces. Pretty. Good. 
You see why you just you just can't give up on dancehall because dancehall dancehall can't stall. Like that's just it. It it got entertaining. It got just make you want to have all kind of discourse and conversations about why people do the things that they do. But you cannot pull your eyes away. A dancehall. Mary does let me know. Would you go to a dance and do either of these things? Sound up below. Ah, energy God let you know that. You're watching Dutty Berry social media countdown. Dutty Berry social media countdown. Shizzle. Kaboom. Yep. And number one goes to. The Skin Jump. My word, my sentence, my paragraph, my essay, my bibliotheca. So number one goes to the Skin Jump. No, where do I start? So recently popular dancer artist Skeng visited Guyana to, pro Guyana to perform. And that performance was underway and it was going on quite well when in the middle of that pandemonium in, it, it erupted because some people decided for just, um, you know, the little chopper them, the gunman them decided for just like, you know, fire some shots for big up the tune and the artist. <laughs> And this subsequently led to just like chaos and a little bit of a stampede, but luckily, nothing too serious. They did, did really happen to any of the attendees. But what many people are talking about right now is this recent performance where Sken was performing at a, what you could call a pool party, right? And he's there and him doing him thing when in the middle, this brother decided to just chuck off into the pool. Pre. <laughs> Okay, so him truck off in the pool, you know, but draw breaks. Look at what happened right after. That is a friend. That is a friend. Somebody play the, the, the Golden Girls song. Thank you for being a friend. So many nearly dead two times, I'm not feeling no way about it. That is the type of friend that we need. A friend will say, yo, if you jump, I jump. If you're gonna get shot in your face, I'm gonna get shot in my face too. If you are dead for hungry, I'm gonna get dead for hungry too. I just saw, we're all in this together like high school musical. Like, honestly, I don't know how much the entourage pay is, but Skeng need needs for double it because that brother never know what in the pool. That never know, like, honestly, the pool could have been a cake. Because we say all of them videos there where things look like something else. It could have been a cake. It could have jumped in there and just end up on concrete. Boom. Rukum, kukum, kum, dash. I don't know why Skeng do that. He's not an elephant man. Why is he scubbing and away? Like, what was going on? Bama drop? But we have to remember that Skeng is really just 21 years old. He's a young brother and him is just living life. That is just youthful exuberance. Make the brother just do him thing. As people saying maybe he's on Molly and all kind of other drugs. Like, we don't know. But like, hey, I think the youth is just there and enjoying himself. He's He's literally living out his dream and that has to be an incredible feeling to realize the type of support where I get so, you know, give Skeng little grace. You get me? Just give him little grace and make the youth do him thing and flourish as he chooses to. Okay? <laughs> well, that's it in our burritos. We've come to the end of another top 10 social media countdown. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button. Um, turn on the post notification. Don't forget to like the video. Um, leave a comment down below. Subscribe. Share the video with your friends. If you want to follow me on my social media, follow me right here on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, all over. And if you want to advertise within the countdown, please shoot me an email right here to bookings.databerryshow at gmail.com. Take care until next time. <laughs>
The dirty are the berry, yeah, the juicy are the scoop. All the things are going on and missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie, said the corner coming soon. All the drama where you want, you feel tuning to the youth. Like, yo, hey, box cover, and cover all the topics like an evening. Pot cover, mix up, blender, all them. Suck me, I will have me now the week, yo, just tune in. Zin.